Hello everyone. Um, this is Mike with another talk. So you see this beautiful plant behind me here? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, what's so amazing about that is that a bird can look at that plant. Uh, a worm uh, can sense it a child, somebody from another country, whether we speak the same language or not, we all see it the same way. The color green appears without having to think the color green. The plant appears and it's perfect as it is. There's nothing wrong with it. It's continually perfect, just as everything in nature is. The trees behind me appear are perfect. What makes something imperfect is thought. Thought is what changes us to go to a place of something is not right. And that's because thought carries us to another place which says um, something has to be fixed to be better. So as we face this incredible story that's and drama that's um, out there, we find ourselves right now with this um, coronavirus. We wake up in the morning and there is something that you step over completely to go to another place and ignore. And the other place you're going, you're trying to fix to get back to the first place. How do I explain this? You wake up in the morning and imagine in front of you is a beautiful river. But on the other side of the river is a giant um, screen TV. And the river is uh, there, and it's beautiful, and it's pristine, and there's fresh fish in it, and um, cool water to drink. But you step over top of the river, and you go over and you watch the television set, which shows a, a video of the same river. And you watch that river on the television set looking to find cool water and peace. So this is kind of what we do with consciousness. We step right over it to go and watch the stories that are happening right now with this coronavirus to get to a place where we are at peace. We step over our peace to get to peace. Um, this is the mind. Presence is everything. And we're in a place now where to know wholeness means you'll see even this as wholeness. The coronavirus as wholeness. Illness has wholeness. Death has wholeness. I see it as a, a swing that is just going from one place, which was presence, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, and all the way up, deep into an individual separate self, where we've gotten away from our elements, our elements of fire, water, air, earth, and is it metal? I'm not sure. So we've gotten away from these elements. Now the thing that's interesting is as that swing goes up, it'll then come back down. And as it comes back down, people will fall off of it. We call that death. But when they fall off of it, they open up into the presence that was there the entire time during the swing. And coming back, the swing is presence and openness too. So what to do in this time? What, what do we do? How do we act? 
It's not about thinking into this in any way. It's not about thinking a solution in this. It's about owning your being, owning your beingness. Become your beingness. That's what it's about. So when you wake up in the morning, the river you step over, the river which is the open presence appearing as everything, stop right there. Find it. Find your presence. And then you can turn on the TV. And then you can watch this presence dancing as everything. And you'll know that no matter what takes place, this will never be touched. And you can go sing and cry and laugh. And you'll look at everything as nature does. It, it needs nothing more. It can't be destroyed. It can't be touched. Because in truth, there is not a you. There's just this, just this open presence appearing as all of these things. And now's the time where we are forced to go into this. There's no more tools of consumerism to pull us away, to chase. So this is love. So many fear their own love, don't. It's okay. So you let go, and then you let go, and then you let go one more time. And it's here. It's always been here, appearing as everything the entire time. You've never been alone. Spend this time having a relationship with this, this love. Thanks.